Hi, welcome to Penson's Wine Cellar in our first edition tasting the, the Three Kings of Italy. I'm really pleased you could all join me here and I'm sure some of you probably joined us in the restaurant before so hopefully we can bring a little bit of that experience uh, to you today. Uh, I've selected three of my absolute favourite regions in Italy for big styles of red wine, some of the best, best wine producing regions in the world. Um, the, the, the first wine of the Three Kings is from Piemonte. Uh, this is over in northwest Italy, in Piemont, and it's from a superb producer called Conterno. Now, actually, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit here, perhaps, because the wine here is not a Barolo, but it's from the same grape. It's from Nebbiolo. It's from a producer of grape Barolo. It's from the same region. Uh, the fact that it is Conterno means it's a super special wine. This is going to be a wine of incredible quality, and it's a wine uh, I can still taste uh, wines from Conterno that I've tasted before. So I'm really excited about, about this wine. First, uh, we're moving on to an Amarone after that. So m many of you will probably taste an Amarone. It's from um, a few different grapes, Corvina, uh, Rondinella, Molinara. Um, here there isn't actually any Rondinella in the blend, but it's a big, big wine. 16% is the wine I've picked for you today. So I hope you're sitting comfortably uh, at home to, to taste that one from a producer who I haven't tried before. So all of these wines I've picked for you today, I'm, I'm gonna taste them along alongside you for the first time. So we'll see how, where we get to and we'll make an assessment on the quality of the wines. I'll be giving each wine a score and on uh, the pairing with these lovely cheeses I've selected alongside it. The jewel in the crown of the, the pairing this week, perhaps we don't know yet, we haven't tasted the wines, is the Brunello de Montalcino. So this is probably the, the finest expression of Sangiovese uh, we, we can find. Uh, 2010, amazing year, Robert Parker, leading wine expert, scores this as 98 point vintage. So that's the, the equal best vintage of the last 50 years. So this should be drinking really nicely. Uh, alongside that, we'll also be tasting the Italian's answer to champagne, Francia Cotta. Also, um, we'll be tasting a, a blind wine. So we've got no idea what this is. And it's really interesting to taste wines uh, blind. It gives us uh, an understanding of the wine, which you wouldn't get without, um, without doing it because we, we have preconceived ideas about grape varieties, about producers, about styles of wine. We strip all those back and now we start to learn uh, about the wine itself. I'm also gonna try and have a little guess and you can guess along with me what potentially this white wine might be. It is a white wine and it is Italian. Uh, that is all I know. There's over a hundred grapes, white grapes in Italy. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do well to get anywhere near that one. Uh, also, uh, the next video I'll be bringing to you a little uh, a tip section of how we can taste wines and how I approach tasting wines. And uh, you can see, you can play around with this. It's gonna be really interesting and it's gonna improve your knowledge and understanding of wines hopefully and certainly of the wines that we taste today so i hope you enjoy everything i had